boys and girls, Mrs. Welsh. This week we're going to be continuing to learn about nonfiction text features with the reading of Eva the Beekeeper. Eva the Beekeeper by Jane Manners. Oh, look, here's our first nonfiction text feature the table of contents. Okay. Meet Eva Prito. Buzz. Eva Prito knows that sound well. She is a beekeeper. A beekeeper takes care of bees. Eva also collects the honey they make. Eva has been a beekeeper for a long time. She knows many things about bees. There is always something new to learn, she says. I love the little honey bear on the page numbers. Oh, here is a heading, a beekeeper's tools. Eva's bees live in hives. These hives are boxes made of wood. Each hive holds a group of bees or colony. There are thousands of bees in a colony. So I noticed the heading. Here's some bold-faced text. And this is a picture to show us. And a caption over here. Bees from the colony. And that's the frame from the box. Eva wears special clothes near her bees. She wears a bee suit, a hood, and gloves. These are picture labels, okay? And here's a caption. The net on the hood keeps bees away from Eva's face. The clothes help keep Eva safe from bee stings. I am scared of bees without the suit, she says. If I have it on, I am not scared. Eva's year. Eva is busy all year. In the winter, she feeds the bees sugar water and honey. In the spring, Eva checks the hives. She makes sure each hive is clean. In the summer, Eva makes sure her bees are near water. Water cools the bees. In the summer, Eva's bees are busy too. They bring nectar and pollen back to the hive. There, they turn nectar into honey. And here's a picture with a heading and a caption. In the fall, Eva collects honey. First, she moves the bees to another part of the, of the hive. Then, she gathers the frames. A machine removes the honey from each frame. Here's her machine, and here's a caption. It says, Eva puts each frame from the boxes into a machine. That is how she gathers the honey. Eva sells the honey the bees make. She also uses the honey to make bread. Eva and her husband like to eat the bread with honey too. I love honey. I have it in my tea every day. Here's another heading. Being a beekeeper. Eva likes to tell people about working with bees. What's the best part about being a beekeeper? Eva says, I love being close to nature. And at the very end, we have a glossary where we can find words and what they mean. Okay? And that is the end of our story. And here is our back cover. So this week, while you read the story and listen to it, I want you to think about and notice some of the nonfiction text features we spoke about. Have a great day.